What's up, YouTube? Welcome to MTX Chess. My name's Nathan. We're talking about Scholar's Mate today. So if you've ever lost chess in four moves, if you've ever won a game in four moves, if you're confused as to why you keep losing all your friends in four moves, this is the video for you. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Hit me up on chess.com. I'll leave a link in the description below if you want to challenge me on chess.com. Um, yeah, new videos coming every week, so subscribe, make sure you don't miss any content. So without further ado, let's just jump in and get started. So the form of checkmate, or fool's mate, or scholar's mate, however you want to name it, you don't want to be checkmated this way, let's just say. So the way it starts is white plays e4, black plays e5, got king's pawns out, and you can always tell when a four move checkmate may be coming because the next move for white is going to be bishop c4. And the point of bishop c4 for white is to put pressure on this weak f7 square. So f7 in the opening is like the weakest square on the board, it's only guarded by the king, the white version of f7 is f2, obviously, because only, only the king is scoring f2. Now, if white had their way and they were to be successful in checkmating in four moves, black would have to make a couple mistakes. The mistake would be playing a move away from the action, right? The action's happening on the king side. So a move like a6, kind of a throwaway move, is not the move that black wants. After something like a6, white has a couple options here. They want to bring their queen out, queen out and get their queen into the attack right away. So they can either play queen f3, and uh, put pressure on f7 this way, or they can play queen h5 and put pressure on f7 that way. Either a viable option, I think h5 is probably the more commonly played. And so now you can see both the queen and the bishop are keying in on this weak f7 square. If the queen takes this f7 square, it's checkmate. In order for the fool's mate to happen, black has to miss this again and play another throwy move like b5. Black may think they're putting pressure on the bishop, but they're so wrong. Queen takes f7, checkmate. So how do we avoid this? Let's go back to the beginning. So e4, e5, bishop c4. This is before black plays any bad throwy moves like a6. Whenever you see the bishop coming out to c4, you got to have your head on a swivel and realize that a form of checkmate could be coming. The best move for black to play here is a move that takes the h5 square away from the queen, blocks uh, the f file in case the queen wants to attack up the f file, and also takes white kind of out of the attack. And that move, the one move that does all of that is knight f6. So knight f6 is, is the move that you want to play anytime you see the bishop coming to c4. It takes away the h5 square from the queen, it blocks the queen if she wants to come up the, the f file, and it attacks this e4 square right here. Uh, and this, this pawn, this e4 pawn is an anchor of white's position, it's super important. White's not just going to give this pawn up, so it forces them to defend this pawn and kind of taking them out of the attack a little bit. So that's why knight f6 is, is really such a great move. Let's say, um, and, and usually after this, white will just continue with their development and, and both sides will develop normally. Let's say though, you're playing black and you made the mistake and you totally forgot about, about knight f6. and You played something like a6. The queen is then gonna come to h5. You can still defend against checkmate and you do that by playing queen e7. You can also play the queen out to f6. What this does is it adds an extra defender on the weak f7 square. So now if, if, queen, if the queen takes f7, she'll be captured by black's queen. And then if uh, the white bishop takes, it'll be, well, let's just, let's just show it. So if takes, check, right, takes, takes, king takes. And so now white is actually down a piece. So white's losing this position. So even if you forget to play knight f6 when the bishop comes out, you can still recover and stave off checkmate. But if you're ever in this position, you're like, oh, I, I feel like I, rem I watched MTX chess. I just don't remember what to do. Always remember the bishop is literally pointing at the piece you're supposed to move. So it should be easy to remember this. When the bishop comes to c4, bishop is pointing at your knight on g8, and that knight has got to come to f6. Okay? So that's that's really all you need to know about four move checkmate and uh, and how to avoid it. And if you know how to play knight f6 on, on move two, you'll never be check four move checkmate again. All right, just for the pleasure, the pleasure of all the viewers, let's uh, let's show the two move checkmate. So this is theoretically the fastest checkmate in chess. If any of you have ever checkmated somebody two moves, please comment because that's kind of amazing. Maybe I'll give you a shout out. Um, but things really have to go wrong for black for this to happen. So the way it starts is white plays e4, uh, and black plays a move like f6, which is just not a great move. Um, white plays d4, and then black plays g5. So a couple, a series of kind of odd moves by by black. Can we find checkmate in one? Yeah, so queen h5 is, is checkmate in one. Queen's checking along this diagonal, and the king is kind of boxed in there. Can't come out, can't block with anything. 
checkmate in two moves. The fastest checkmate in chess. I, I honestly, I don't think it's ever been done, but theoretically, that's the fastest you can checkmate. So yeah, I hope this video helped. Uh, please, uh, yeah, like, subscribe. Let me know in the comments if there's anything you, you want to learn about. Or I'm kind of doing like a beginning series here on chess. And so next week, we'll probably be going into the end games a little bit. But thanks for watching, guys. And uh, like I said, hit me up on chess.com. I'm more than happy to play. Uh, until next time.